Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I have my March favorites and I have mostly handbags to share with you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up and without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Uh, all right, so the first one I'm not gonna spend too much time on only because I know I have been giving you guys quite the earful these last three weeks. I've been talking about how fantastic it is and how much I love it and yada, yada, yada for all my Seinfeld fans out there. Uh, but I am talking about this bad boy, which is the Celine Nano Luggage Tote in the Black Pebbled Leather with the silver hardware. I am madly in love with this handbag. I think it is such a beautiful bag and there's just so many different aspects about it that I appreciate. I love the fact that it's very versatile. I can use it as a little handbag or I can use it crossbody or on my shoulder because it does come with a removable shoulder strap or crossbody strap even though it is not adjustable. I did talk about that in another video, uh, as I mentioned, and I am a huge fan of the pebbled leather. I think it is beautiful. I've always been a big fan of uh, Celine's leather in general, and this bag also packs a punch. I mean, just because it's small, don't that don't let that, you know, um, misguide you into thinking that you can only carry so much. I can carry everything and the kitchen sink. You know, I bust out those Tetris skills, and I'm just like, oh, I could put this here and put that there. I don't know, but like I said, uh, I just really like this bag. And let's be honest, the fact that it has that robot face, I am all about that. And I know this is something that I've brought up in every video that I've discussed it. You know, the fact that it has the eyes and the mouth. I just, I think it's so darn cute. So <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Celine Nano luggage tote and the black pebbled leather with the silver hardware. And then there's the backside and there's the bottom. I know um, I had a few of you guys ask if I can show a few more you know, shots of the bags or items when I do my favorites videos. So I will definitely try to keep that in mind. Uh, but there we go. So the Celine Nano Luggage Tote, fantastic, fantastic bag. And so far so good. And I cannot wait to do a detailed review on it uh, within the next couple of weeks, if not a couple of months, just because I wanna be able to enjoy it a little bit longer so that way I can really give you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, all right, moving on to this bad boy. This is the Dior Cruise Wallet on Chain in the gunmetal um, in the in the gunmetal leather with the light gold hardware. And this bag was amazing. Uh, the the biggest chunk of uh, of March uh, we were on vacation, so a lot of these things are going to be items that I that we use during our trip. And I definitely use this bag. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because I didn't want something that was too. Um, you know, it doesn't have a logo going on or anything like that. It says Dior in very small letters on this little clasp here. Uh, but I also felt that I don't show this bag enough love and I'm a huge fan of how the metallic has been wearing. So far, no issues. Uh, and I always seem to stay away from metallic leathers in general, just because I've heard horror stories and I've seen, you know, some wear and tear videos on how sometimes you can see creases and things like that. So I definitely put this baby through the ringer, especially when we were in Las Vegas and it worked out perfectly. I don't have to carry too much. And to be honest, when it comes to this bag, to the wallet on chain, um, you can't really carry thick items with you. You know what I mean? Like you can't carry a, another card holder in there. You really wouldn't want to anyways because it does have uh, quite a bit of credit card slots. But just the style that it has because it's very narrow at the bottom and then it opens up wider up here. It's kind of funky if you were to put thicker items in here. So you have to stick to a little bit more um, more uh, slender items. But still, I thought for Vegas I don't have to carry too much. You know, just a lipstick and a few other bits and bobs and it ended up working out perfectly. Plus when we'd go out to dinner, i take off um, the, uh, what's it called? the little removable strap that it comes with. So I'd use it cross body or on my shoulder during the day with this. And then at night I would just take off the little strap and I'd use it as a little clutch and it was perfect. But so far so good, no issues with uh, wear and tear as I mentioned. And uh, I just, I mean, this chain, it's, I mean, it's pretty heavy. It's, it's kind of sturdy, but it's not like it's gonna dig into your shoulder. And I also ended up using this on a few other of my other, a uh, few of my other handbags just to kind of switch it up if I didn't want to use leather straps or anything like that. So, I mean, look at that. I, I love, absolutely love their hardware or their jewelry as they, as they say. But uh, yeah, so the Dior Cruise Wallet in the Diorama with the gunmetal leather and the light gold hardware was fantastic for our trip. So highly, highly recommend this bag. And um, yeah, so I think it is fantastic. Uh, all right, moving on to another one. I briefly talked about how um, how awesome I thought this bag was in my in my vacation haul video, and that is the Longchamp Le Pliage Large Tote in the 
khaki color with the long shoulder strap. This bag was absolutely phenomenal. It was fantastic. We got caught in the rain uh, a few times during our uh, road trip. And I mean, I didn't have to worry. I didn't have to think about, oh, the leather, or what's gonna happen with this or what's gonna happen with that. This bag, I mean, I don't even think I have corner wear because I did drop it a few times. You know, I can be clumsy, don't judge me. <laughs> uh, but I did drop it a few times like on concrete and gravel and nothing, it's like nothing happened to it. It looks like the day that I got it, you know what I mean? And it's incredibly spacious, check it out. Look at this. And I was able to fit, uh, oh man, we had snacks in there, a few different cardigans, uh, what's it called, a shawl, and just a, just a bunch of other things. I felt like this was just going to bust at the seams, but it actually fits quite a bit of items in there, so I was very happy with that. But just in general, you know, I've been able to really, really experience Longchamp and, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the Le Pliage line because a lot of you guys, when I did pick this up in London, a lot of you were like, oh, you're going to love it. It's fantastic. It's such a great travel bag. And I will have to agree. Uh, I have been using the Louis Vuitton Neverfull for the last couple of trips and it's been great. Uh, but this one, this one is just like so, I mean, so carefree. Don't have to worry about it. Nothing at all. And I actually prefer the longer, um, the longer shoulder strap just because it makes it easier to be able to use it when you travel, you know, as opposed to having a smaller handle. But either way, I think both of them are great. And I'm really excited that I was able to add um, the $31 one <laughs> that I picked up at Nordstrom Rack as well, because that, come on, that was the deal of a lifetime. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will also add my vacation mini haul at the end of this video so you can check it out. But in general, highly, highly recommend this. And you guys were right. You guys were absolutely right. It doesn't matter on the weather. It doesn't matter anything, you know, when it comes to using the, the Le Pliage line, it is just virtually indestructible. I say, I say that because I, I know, I know things can happen to it, but just worry free. And it also has a phenomenal price point. So absolutely loved it. All right. Now the next item that I want to share with you, uh, was a gift from my beautiful friend, Monique. Monique, if you're watching, thank you so much for this. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, but she gifted me this beauty, which is the Louis Vuitton jewelry box and the red epi leather. And this was fantastic, fantastic for travel. In the past, I had been using my, uh, Louis Vuitton sunglass case and the MM size for jewelry. I just kind of throw them in there because it has a microfiber lining and, you know, granted, it wasn't always the best thing to carry because sometimes everything would be jumbled up when I go to pull them out. Uh, but this has been incredible. It's just this cute little box. Look at the shape that it has and the fact that it is red. Oh my goodness, it is red. And I was able to fit all of my, um, you know, all of my bits and bobs that I, that I normally carry with me when we travel, but it does have the microfiber lining on here. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And it also has this little guy that you can either put in between items. Like if you have watches or if you have, uh, necklaces that you don't want to rub to, uh, you know, want, you don't want rubbing together if I can talk, uh, or you can end up putting this right on top to be able to secure them a little bit more, but it does come with this little removable thing. And then you have a little bit more space in there and, uh, you can fit quite a bit, um, you know, watches, necklaces, bracelets, earrings, you name it. Uh, but it is beautiful. I also love the little red zipper. Look at that. It has a little LV on there, but it is gorgeous. And, uh, I mean, when I, when I opened this, when she sent it to me, I was just like jaw on the floor. I was just like, Oh my, goodness this is so incredibly generous and the color is just fantastic and if you guys get a chance make sure and check out Monique I will put her uh, her Instagram name on uh, right up here so you guys can see but she loves the color green and she has a beautiful Louis Vuitton collection to die for uh, so it's funny that she's like I sent you something with your favorite color red uh, and this is coming from a green lover so I thought that was pretty awesome so this for travel was uh, was amazing so Monique thank you once again so much for this I absolutely love it. Uh, all right. The next item from our travel days or from our road trip days uh, is the Louis Vuitton Keep All 45 bandolier in the Damien Ben. Uh, I do have two bandoliers, uh, two 45s in my collection. I also have a monogram. Um, but this was also great for our road trips. We had uh, quick getaways. Uh, one of them was a weekend getaway and another one was during the week. But I can really, you know, I feel like I can really fit a lot in the 45. And uh, again, it's one of those things kind of like the Celine Nano. People might think that you can only fit so many items, but I was able to fit what, like four or five different outfits. I also did a uh, what fits inside the 45 bandolier and I will put that on the description box below. Uh, but I was able to fit four or five different outfits, a couple of shoes. And I had a lot of you guys ask 
ask about my makeup, uh, but on that video, I said that when it comes to road trips, I don't like to carry my makeup inside of this. I like to have it out and about because I want to be able to arrive fresh wherever I go. Um, you know, just because sometimes those road trips, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes the whole, like my makeup just kind of melts, you know, especially if it's like a, like if it's a seven, eight hour road trip and we're, I don't know. I don't know what it is, all right? Maybe it's just me, <laughs> but I feel like I don't look as fresh as I should. It's kind of the same thing when I fly, you know? <laughs> At the beginning of the flight, I'm like, ooh, yeah, my makeup looks good, and I arrive, and I, it's almost like I feel like I've been on the plane for 36 hours, you know? I'm like, I look, <laughs> I look kind of funky. Anyway, <laughs> so the 45 bandolier is great. I will have to say that um, as far as comfort goes when it comes to the Damia Ben, the, the strap that it comes with tends to dig into your shoulder, kind of like the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Anytime you deal with the Damia Ben, it's not as comfortable just because, it, again, it has that color-treated leather. So for comfort-wise, I would go for the monogram, but as far as this being carefree, and again, like I said, we got caught in the rain. Uh, I just didn't want to have to think about, you know, the weather or anything like that. So this was great, but uh, I think that this is a great size, and this is also one that you can use as a carry-on. I know you can carry up to the Keep All 55. 55 is the largest that you can uh, take with you on a carry-on, but just be careful because sometimes it depends on you know how packed the flight is you might have to check it in uh, but in general this bag is great um, and I highly recommend it if you want to uh, go for a soft-sided luggage piece from Louis Vuitton or whether you go for Damia Ben or whether you go for Damia Zor or just a completely different uh, if you decide to go for leather or even the monogram I think that they're wonderful however if you are looking to use it for a week-long trip uh, I don't recommend it uh, only because if you're like me I mean if I go away for three days I want to be able to have seven days worth of clothing with me. I want options, you know, so uh, unless you're going somewhere where it's super uh, tropical, uh, very warm, and you, I mean, you only need, you don't have to worry about jeans, you don't have to worry about sweaters or anything like that, then I think that this might work, but all in all, for the weekend getaways, that's the perfect size, in my opinion. Uh, all right, so moving on to the last item. Uh, now this, I, um, I've i always talked about how I'm a big fan of denim jackets. I have two Levi's jackets that I've had for quite some time, but I recently picked up this guy, and this is just a normal truck, I think it's called a trucker jacket from Old Navy. Yeah, I think that's what it was, I can't remember, but I think I paid like 25 bucks for it, maybe $20, it was on sale, but I have not been able to put this down. I sincerely feel that I have worn this almost every single solitary day, you know, and it's perfect because it's very comfortable. It has a type of denim. Look, I even have, <laughs> look, I even have some candy. <laughs> I have some bubble gum sticking out of here. Shame on me. Anyways, uh, it's very comfortable because it's kind of right in the middle as far as the material goes. It's not too thick and it's not too thin, so you can end up using it when it's a little bit cooler outside or you can use it when it's a little bit hotter outside, you know, to the point where it won't be like too much. Uh, but I just, I really like the cut that this has. Very, very comfortable. And again, for 20 bucks or $25, you can't beat it. Um, and it's just been, it's been amazing. <laughs> it's been amazing. Seriously. I was wearing this with, um, with, an, you know, with denim jeans. Uh, you have to be, I mean, you have to be careful when it comes to denim, right? And uh, some of my friends were making fun of me. They're like, what's up with the Canadian tuxedo denim, Dan? That's from Super <laughs> That's from Super Troopers. I don't know why I'm quoting movies and TV shows, but but um, they were making fun of me. And I don't care because I thought, <laughs> I thought it was really cute. I'm just a little bit more mindful of <laughs> what kind of denim I use this with, you know what I mean? <laughs> so the Old Navy denim trucker jacket, I think that's what it is. I wonder if it has anything on here. Probably not. I don't think so. No, there's no skew on there, but I did pick it up on in the uh, medium size and it was perfect. So I highly recommend Old Navy for denim jackets or even Levi's. Levi's are my all-time favorites. Uh, all right, you guys, so that does it for my March favorites. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope I was able to give you a little bit of information on each of these items, especially if you're looking to add them to your collection. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And again, I don't know if it's the the cups of coffee that I've had this morning that I feel like I'm a little bit giddy, but also the fact that I was quoting <laughs> movies and TV shows. I don't know. What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> so again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.